everyone, uh, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Friday Night Roguelikes. This is Sky Rogue. How do I? It's an indie game. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's an indie game. I downloaded it off of Itch.io. And it is procedurally generated. Let's go mask and keyboard. I literally don't know anything about this game. Oh God. Look. Oh, okay. Should I shoot at this? You can stall. It's almost like a Star Fox. Well, on a range and wait for a lock on. When lock. Okay, sorry. I just recorded uh, some new Vegas. When locked on, fire your missiles. It's. Okay, it's weird to control, but I'm getting the hang of it. Alright, there it is. Nice. Um, video game? Okay, so that's how you switch. Countermeasure. Flare. Oh, you sent out some waffle. Nice. Each island has a primary objective. Destroying it is your main objective. Find and destroy the one on the island. You gotta pull up. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. And then I'll bank this way. Okay, and then I'll come around for another for another volley. Hell yeah! Light him up. Okay, I almost got it. This is cool, actually. Yeah, I think it's gonna. I, I imagine it's gonna be a thing like um. Uh, what was what was the one I played? It was like um, I forget the name of it. Nice. Land at the carrier to repair and rearm, and to go to the next island. Cool. I like this. Uh, it's very simple, but that's okay. Is there a way to go even faster? Uh, Cause you can just completely gut your engines and stall. Speed. See, I'm seeing bars change on the side. It's my altimeter. How's your attitude reading? Uh, cool and collected. Yep, landed it. Mm, nailed it. <laughs> nailed it. Kern, Kern, Kernila Island. Ooh, okay. Use the boost to get through. I blew my load too early. Oh, so they won't, like, zork around. Okay. So we just gotta get you back on target. Okay, so when you're locked on, movement is really weird. Okay, locking on. I'm not sure if locking on is working. 
I would love if there were like a bomb that I could drop. That would be kind of rad. Enemy lock, huh? Well, how about I just shoot another flare? This music is pretty popping, I must say. Oh yeah, there's more targets. I can work on those. Okay, I was a little too close to the ground there. Restart. Wow, okay. Prior to the Air Force, the Rogue Medium Fighter. Okay. Uh huh. Wow, okay. This game is real good. This is definitely worth a download. Isushima Island, I believe that said. Let's zero in on this. Am I supposed to destroy these? Let's destroy the gun at least. Oh, I think I am. Never mind. Pull up. I really feel. I really like the. Hit. Let's get evasive in here. See, I just want to go fast all the time. I don't care about the physics of it. I just want to boost. Yeah, the flares! Hell yeah. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh wow, this is super great. This is so fun, I love this music. Like, I honestly might even have to turn uh, turn down the uh, the sound. I've just... My recording is set to uh, New Vegas uh, settings. Because as you may... Have, oh, it's called AAA. That's fun. It's like an old arcade. Nice, nice. Do you think about the enemy lock-on is that I'm not sure if there's much you can do about it besides the flare, and those appear to be limited. So I guess it's like, hey, finish it quick, because you have limited resources to deal with this thing. I love just, like, going to, to maximum... Let's see. You're in range. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Oh, that was great. That was fantastic. I loved that. Because you can still get kind of evasive even while you're being shot at. Ooh, let's work on this thing. I like the sound of that. You know I do. Boy, it's going to take a while to get there. Oh, the range of that is even smaller. It's only 500. Interesting. And shooting out fools as well. Get evasive in here. I think I'm out of waffle. Okay. Yeah, I've only got two flares left. I don't know why that didn't work that one time, but that's okay. Sometimes I feel like I'm, I'm flying a little too far to get to my objective. Michelle complete! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's see if I can go around and take out more dudes. Not in your dreams. And now I've just got to get back to base. I could work on that cutter as well. 
or on this boat up here, but... The music is very good, but I feel like it loses steam at a little at, at some point. Get evasive, yeah! You're doing it! Oh boy. Roll out with this thing. So I wonder if wind can make a difference. Because that might be why my speed, which is over here, as you can see, might not be getting as high as I would like it. Oh my god. Okay, that was pretty good. Um, why don't we just make this a variety episode? All right, and we're back. Um, playing another one in the same uh, episode. So, new stuff. Let me turn this down. Beep boop. There we go. This is Hyperspace Dogfights, uh, starring modified low-tech fighter The Paw. Use the escape synapse command to adjust visual resolution or... Press W to launch. Run the user calibration so you can get used to your new body. Control your jet with A and D and boost with W. Steer your jet, A and D. Evade the shots. Oh man. So this is going to have to be the, the, the plane variety episode. Gravity detected. Nice. I like that. Oh, wow. That was cool. Uh, stall your jet by releasing W. Oh, God. Oh, wow. That's awesome. That's so cool. <laughs> Get used to being shot at. Um, oh, I've got a shield. Oh, 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 cool, cool. Take heart damage, stop attacking to regenerate the shield. I'm guessing that's what I just took. Is hovering face down and use your jet's reverse thrust. Oh god. That's X I'm hitting there. Oh wow, this is so strange to control. <laughs> All right, switch weapons with left shift. Who boy, who boy. So yeah, it's a bullet hell. You can use reverse thrust to break in midair. That's cool. I like that a lot. Oh god. Oh help me Jesus. So is this my shield? That seems like a really big area. Well, have you jump to different areas that simulate that? 
Arrows indicate need to proceed. And you mash it. Oh, pay to open chests. Uh, passive item, passive item. Mash R. Cool. Flares. Okay, some more flares. Cool. And then mash to get to the next area. So this is not technically a roguelike that I'm playing. It's uh, procedurally generated. Which does not a roguelike make. However, I decided that it looked cool and I wanted to play it. And you know what? This is my show. Technically, this is a rogue light. And then you can flare to get stuff away. Just like in the other one. Cool. About what I expected. Um, the other reason that I decided to do a variety episode... Oop, 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 oop. There we go. Um, I do a lot of... I've done a few uh, more than one parts. Like, uh, I spent two weeks playing Rogue Legacy. I spent two weeks playing... Faster than light. Oh my god. Press M to do an evasive jump. Oh my god. It's a fucking dodge roll. That's so cool. That is so cool. I love that. Snap displays you right into the action. Oh, wow. Okay. Raid ground convoy, says God, I guess. I can vibe. Ugh. Shoot. See, I want to see if I can... Oh, God, that's so cool. <laughs> it's really weird to control. I have to, like, think in 3D in 2D. Wait, what's the button? It's M, right? It is. This is a. This is a real honest bullet hell. Bullet hells and roguelikes really go well together. I still can't remember the name of that other game that I played. Um. Right. Yeah, I have to. Oh yeah, there's an up here. Oh, and that kills me too. Well, should have expected that. Yeah, the fact that you physically are unable to stop moving because of gravity is disorienting. See, I want to play by my rules of ABS always be shooting. I don't know how wise that is, though, since you only heal if you're uh, not shooting. Escalation 20% Colt War, it says on the left. What does that even mean? Yeah, these games are cool. I don't know if they have enough content to squeeze a whole episode out of, so I'm not sure if I'm going to play them for that long. Yep. Yeah, I feel like I have to like reach all the way over to the other side of my screen or the other side of my keyboard to hit the dodge button. It could probably just be oh, and there's even this as well. That's cool. Yeah, 
Shots penetrating, but sure to evacuate. Oh, did I die? Oh boy. See, I wish it was a little easier to kill as well. He's like, I'm born to kill. Oh, I did a strafe. I don't know how. Shoot. Oh, okay, so that's the first time I've actually taken damage. So I feel like I'm taking damage all the time, but I'm actually not. So if I do it like this... Oh. Yeah, it's really hard to think around. Yeah, if I do this, I can basically fight like a regular plane, I think. I just have to like feather the jets. We're running out of time, we need you to advance now. Oh, I fucked up, well. Intermission, wave jump. Offward craft has passed through, we'll keep you posted. Destroy elite fighters, oh boy, well. On bogey. So are those the enemies saying that? Assassinate, zero out of three. Oh boy, oh boy. They're fucking me up. I gotta be honest. Probably because they know how to fly and I don't. Like now I'm even getting into a thing where like, who am I again? Like I'm having, I'm having trouble focusing on which guy I am just because there's so many fucking planes in the sky. Like, I would love if this was twin stick. It might be a little easier to aim. Oh boy. Get out of there. Okay. Yeah, it's really hard to focus and think about just because, like, it's got a lot of shit going on. Oh, and they can dodge as well. Well, that's just peachy, huh? Death? Question mark? PMC conflict. Escalation 50. THX. Woof. That's pretty cool, though. That's not a bad game at all. Yeah, that's a cool game. Um. Yeah, that's hyperspace, uh, hyperspace Dogfight. I got off Itch.io. You are free to you as well. Oh boy. All right. Well, you can see this game. Uh, it's called Orion Trail. Let me big this up. Oh, I'll just leave it in the corner. Who cares trying to center anything? All right, let's go. Click to start. Options. Let's turn the music down. It's a little noisy. Uh, resume game. Great. Select a mission. Um, so I'm not sure how this is. Uh, I mean, I guess it's a roguelike, but I suppose it's probably more of like a Oregon Trail deal. I mean, that would make logical sense, no? Right. The <laughs> I didn't even look at that until now. That's my dyslexia for you. The Wilkie May, a sister galaxy to our own. The Wilkie May is nearly identical. Efforts to explore the center have been put off because it's really annoying to refer to it by name. Okay. Uh, let's pick the captain. Alex Soup Campbell, Janie Leeway. <laughs> uh, and Z Zawasha Singe. I don't get this reference. 
But I understand Campbell's soup and Captain Janeway. Okay, um, so she's got three science. He's got diplomacy. So it looks like they have five points total. A crew member aboard the Galaxy Force's most beloved missions. The mission was cut short before it was completed. Hundreds of subsequent fan petitions. She was promoted to captain. All right, first officer, seven of eleven, Percival Squiddlevoss, Tamir N Nadav. These are all um, these are all Star Trek references, huh? See, the issue is I don't know Star Trek. Got the fixer, Loria Fife, Loretta Fife, Fife. Communications officer. Oh, we can see the totals down here. That's nice. Wait, Wolfgang Wesker? The result of a fared, failed experiment. Oh, that's funny. Alright, goal. GF. Galaxy Force, I guess? Oh, so it's... Um... Resources. Uh... Let's add a little crew. Oh, we have seven credits. Okay. Let's get a little fuel. Um, okay, so each one costs one credit. And it adds that much unit. So let's get at least one of each. Well, why not get two of each? Let's just be very balanced. Because we have a lot of bravado science and a little diplomacy. But we can't actually fight. So I'm guessing we're going to need some defense. Uh, Orange Nebula. Threat, none. Theoretically, these should exist. A green star. Set of goals. Okay, and it costs food to get there and fuel. Uh-oh. High command notifies your court martialed by holocall right now. Uh, the crimes lead against, listed against you involve property damage and negligence. Um, well, let's present scientific evidence. Sweating, the officer steps forward. The evidence presents suggests property cannot be damaged due to the laws of conservation of mass. Thus, the Hotepilon fleet was converted into energy not damaged. Okay. Oh my... Oh wow, that's really... So it's, it's still a dice roll, but they let you look at it. That's really... Oh. Uh... <laughs> the Admiral Novice's approval, overconfident science officer, doubles down and requests a team of Academy grad students to support requests. To the astonishment, it's, it's approved. Let's go pick them up. So we got two crew and one bravado. Wow. Oh, there he is. Who is that guy? Class K star, near the end of its lifespan. Or Pink Nebula. And it has hamburger there. Uh, the warp core is having trouble starting due to a clause, pl clogged plasma manifold. Engineer claims you need to increase the intake f to flush out the burnt material. You could also just, well, we've got a lot of science, right? So uh, It's dislodged and vaporized by the warp core. You hate wasting fuel, but it's back online. Oh, it costs more fuel. So it either burns more fuel or food. That's unfortunate. Uh... A group of adorable furly aliens want to trade uh, you fuel and food by your for broken computer parts. What a deal. You invite them on board. Cruise allergies kick in as soon as they step into the airlock. Um, well, let's whip up a cure. Not you, of course. You're busy with important kittens. So, tell your science officer to science up a cure real quick. It's hard to explain. That's not how science or medicine works, but you get bored. So, yeah, it adds the five and then does a die roll. I clicked. I, I wanted to see if that would help. You, your delay while the nerds run a double-blind multi-species intersectional avail availability study. They get all the kinks worked out. Your crew would be proud to have died furthering scientific process and interstellar relations. And we got food. Cool. I can see fuel becoming an issue. And we lost the crew members that we got. Well. Wow. Uh, let's set a course. We're going to need to get fuel at some point. Uh, the Vortex. 
a vortex opens up. Ship's sensors detect an unknown object headed right your way. Well, let's immediately fly in. You launch a team of volunteers. Oh, so if you max it out, you only have the critical fail, and you still have the critical success as well. So it's like a D20. A ship identical emerges, led by your evil twin. You lead a raiding party to steal supplies. Some of your crew decide your twin is more fun to hang out and stay there. Well, wow. well, we got fuel and stuff. And we got green star and green star. So this is just unusual, but that one shouldn't exist. So let's go there. Uh, Captain, warp plasma junction pipes, and it's going to blow. Um, send the engineers in. Stunned for a moment, the rally is set in. Uh, engineers are able to fix the clog, but die to plasma afterwards. Shoot. Sensors detect a shift. Can't be. Incoming hail from the immortal captain. Your comms officer reports. Great. Your old nemesis, the baby. Everyone thinks he's so cute. But as his former roommate, you know the truth. He is pure evil. <laughs> well, I'm not good at either of these. This one will hurt me, but this one will hurt the hull. So I guess we'll do this one. You can't stand the baby. So yeah, it's just the two and then the fails. Okay. So is that just nothing? You dared attack Major Baby, says his first officer, wiping Pablum from the baby's mouth. Oh crap, he's been promoted. Goo, says the baby. He coats your ship with their goo ray. Several crew die of goo poisoning. The concept of goo poisoning. Just generic miscellaneous goo. Uh, the deadly space flight, Planetary. Planetary, haha. -ha. Uh, he's seeking vengeance on you and your crew. Oh, I think this is a reference to Wrath of Khan. Um, let's try to talk him out. Try to reason with him. Damn. Planetary realignment. Ha ha ha. Uh, it's not the best career move. Your buddies with an escaped space pirate and your crew don't want to know you anymore. Wait, do we... Oh, dude. All right. Oh, boy. Uh, your parents sent you home-baked goods before you left, but the delivery owner only just managed to catch up to you now. Well, that's good. We're gonna need fuel at some point, though. We're really starting to run dry on this shit. Um, must be a mistake. Well, weird, anyway. A young, incredibly hot star. I was gonna think of a well-known celebrity, but all of them are either problematic or I don't know them. Um... Oh, it's a Borg cube. A uh, shimmering spectral cube with six faces. Ha 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 ha. Uh, appears. Yada yada yada. Roll the die or die. Putting all my points into bravado has certainly been useful. <gasps> wow. Yours is a sorry ship in need of improvement. If you're only were more like Captain Hammond, wiser and better looking than yourself. More nutritious food, and for better thinking. And finally, brain implants for your deck chimps. Oh wow, we got stats as well. That's cool. So we got uh, B star X O. Like temperature hot, not attractive. Ha ha, very funny. Uh, you've just finished watching the second season of GFPD, Space Crimes Division. You're headed swimming with new elaborate plots and plans you can't wait to try. One Tactics. Oh boy. During dinner in the cafeteria, you jokingly mentioned how great you are at dancing. Suddenly, your first officer is, uh, furious. Yeah, well, it's time to prove it. I demand you face me in a dance battle. The entire cafeteria starts whooping. Uh-oh. Um... Solo dance battle. Crisis getting served. All right, the music starts. Aw, oh well. Every dance move is more dramatic than the next. You do the robot. He counters with a head spin. You do a float. He does the windmill. It's a close call, but the judges rule in your order. First officer has been served. So can I even get more bravado? Will it do anything? I can't wait to see. Hmm. 
You've reached the asteroid field known as Orion's Buckle. Today it's dense with asteroids of all shape and size. Anything. Switch it off autopilot and take to the helm. Or we could dissolve them. Nah, let's go. I wanna I wanna see. You switch off that pompous autopilot and seize the controls. Oh, it adds a second critical Oh wow, that's great. That's really cool. Yeah. Oh, that's su that's super interesting. I love that system. Results? Wow. Fly under it, completely avoiding it. Everyone on the bridge is stunned they didn't think to do that. Your officers learned a thing or two about astronavigation navigation and third dimensional strategy. Oh, well, yeah, three dimensions, that's, yeah? Of course, uh, real asteroid belts aren't that thick, but, you know. Um, hmm. Let's chat, or time to leave, or we should rest. Hmm. Well, we've got food to spare, so. You'll consume, yes. Crag open the Nutri paste. <laughs> and we've eaten a month of rations. Time to leave. I could just stay behind and do it again. So how much more do I have? Not much. One of your officers took time to reorganize your bookmarks in your personal console. You'll be able to pull up Galactopedia pages even faster. Nice. I'm getting a good amount of stats, which I like. Um, Let's do bravado. Interns? Who needs interns? You're as good as a thousand of them. You set out to prove it. Maintain the engines, clean the floor. Damn it, you'll even get your own coffee. Nice. It's a struggle at first, but after creating an extensive schedule and learning not to sleep, you managed to juggle all the responsibilities. You started a lucrative side job as a space service com uh, performer, the incredible multitasker. We've got tactics and a bunch of... Oh my god, we have so much diplomacy. Uh, mecha measles, and your officer... There's an outbreak of mecha measles, and one of your officers is affected. Unlike most diseases, it actually starts as a computer virus that spreads into the real world. Browse safe, everyone. Ugh. Your ship glows. You have some parasailers attacked to the bumper. Shooting with abandon. They're a thrill seeker, a thrill seeking race of extreme sports enthusiasts known as the parkour. Haha. -ha. Uh, parkour duel. Get rid of them. So I'm starting to see that it's a bit of a liability that I. Oh, wow. It's a liability that I don't have, that I have zero in this. After many hush discussions and moving a lot of the, a lot of use of the word bra, they agree. Cool. We're not that low now. Um, it could add me fuel, so I'm gonna go there because I'm gonna run out pretty quick here. I'm so close to the end. Uh, you, a version of yourself appears in a fancy, a version of yourself in a fancy vest appears on the bridge. Future you appears to uh, claims to know of a hidden cache of fuel on a nearby planet. Suddenly, a second version of yourself covered in leeches appears and begs not to listen to the first you. Um, shoot them both. Hmm. Um, away from the planet full speed? That looks like it adds and removes fuel, so hopefully I'll get more. At least I've got some points there. Uh, ooh, nice. That'll last me for 10 turns. Which I guess is 10 of these little specs, huh? Let's kick it in overdrive. Uh, hailed by an unknown vessel. Shady figure appears on the hollow screen, offering repairs for fuel. Well, we don't have any fuel. You convince with possibly faint sincerity. You wish you could help him, but you have no fuel. Oh, that's the merchant from RE4. Chance of shadiness, 82.7%. Nice. 
Disappointed but understanding, the dealer says you're both lucky to have run out of fuel this close to a station. You tow a ship. If he repairs your ship, you each hold up the side of the bar. Cool. Next outpost. Get here at any cost. Set a course. Mission complete. Congratulations, you traversed it. You were an Admiral Rule Breaker. We did that. We did six bravados. We did way too many of those. We didn't get a critical fail. Uh, a couple of guys got baby to death. And then a couple of them got dist... That's funny. Wow, cool. We unlocked the second one. Um, That's pretty good. Uh, I th honestly think that's a solid episode. So... This has been Friday Night Roguelikes. We watched, or we played, um, Orion Trail, Sky Rogue, and, uh, what was the other one? Hyper, Hyper Wolf? Hyper Dog? It was Hyperspace Dog Fights. That's what it was. Um, yeah, those are all really solid. So, uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time for, uh, probably a more typical episode of Friday Night Roguelikes, uh, but I like doing the variety ones. This was fun. I might do this again. But yeah, I've been Alfred. This has been Friday Night Roguelikes. I'll see you guys again later. Bye.